News that impacts you and your community. 13 on your side evening news starts now. Art Prize is only a few weeks away, and those in charge hope to top last year's number of 700,000 visitors. The two-week art contest starts on September 16th and has been in the planning process since the end of last year's Art Prize. 13 On Your Side's Micah Cho joins us with what leaders are planning for this year and some changes you can expect. Elena and Julia, in previous years, you would vote for artists in different rounds of voting. However, this year, they've done away with that system in an effort to keep more people involved throughout the two weeks. Now, you'll be able to vote for artists Artists all the way until the end of voting. There's also plans to bring in large scale art installations again with a special piece coming south from Canada. As mentioned earlier, our prize drew one of its largest crowds last year, about 700,000 people coming directly to Grand Rapids for it. Executive Director Catlin Whittington told me they're also bringing in a new category this year that will focus on furniture, fashion, and industrial design. All of these new and improved ideas hoping to keep growth increasing for years to come. What we're trying to do is create a really fun, exciting, vibrant urban core and urban environment for, for those that, uh, that live here and those that don't live here to come out, discover, rediscover downtown Grand Rapids, to come out and explore with us. And continuing to tell those stories is really important to us. And so that's how uh, we'll continue to engage after the event. This year's Art Prize will feature over 950 artists at over 170 venues throughout the area. And one of those venues, the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum, year after year, the Ford Museum has been host to hundreds of entries, including sculptures, paintings, and photography, and more. This year, the Ford Museum will have 37 artists, both inside and outside. Last year, they even hosted an Art Prize winner, something they hope to repeat this year as well. And today, we spoke with Joel Westfall, the Deputy Director of the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Library and Museum. He told us that being an Art Prize venue actually represents the spirit that the former president had for his community. Whether it's the uh, the, the museum itself or the National Archives takes pride uh, in, in the uh, reaching out to the local community and being part of the local community wherever we wherever we are. Uh, so that's very important to uh, to us uh, to make sure that the, the local community knows that we're we're here and what we do. Uh, our nonpartisanship uh, with regard to the community. Uh, and uh, we love, love our prize. During our prize, the Ford Museum will also have their temporary Ford at 50 exhibit up, celebrating the 50 year anniversary of the Gerald R. Ford presidency. Again, our prize will kick off on September 13th and will run through the 28th. In the newsroom, Micah Cho, 13 on your side.